Some breaking news out of East Rutherford where the Jets have added yet another free agent piece and this time it's running back Dalvin Cook. Cook joining the Jets on a one year deal that's worth up to a reported $8.6 million. We will see how that breaks down in terms of incentives. That is the latest from our lead NFL insider Jonathan Jones. Cook spent his first six seasons in Minnesota. The team that drafted him was a pro bowler four times over those six seasons. Let's get into it with our lead NFL insider Jonathan Jones and the two time Super Bowl champ Bryant McFadden fellas we appreciate you taking the time here on some news out of East Rutherford this looked to be the landing spot for Dalvin Cook over some time now it comes to fruition JJ what's the latest reporting you have what can you tell us about the deal. Look it's really no coincidence that this deal. Uh, gets figured out shortly after Ezekiel Elliott got a nice haircut as he is heading to Foxborough, Massachusetts. Obviously, the former Dallas Cowboys running back signs with the New England Patriots, and that gets the ball rolling. That's normally what happens uh, in positions where you uh, have a little bit of a, a stalling, if you will. We have talked ad nauseum, Joe, about the running back market uh, for the last month and a half, two months or so, dating back to the franchise tag deadline. What we have now uh, are these running backs taking deals that they don't love they don't love mm -hmm. but they're just gonna have to take it and so um, I know that there is a report a couple reports out there that it is up to 8.6 million dollars um, the actual base salary and what is guaranteed is going to come in much lower than that then there's going to be a lot of incentives whether they are likely to be earned or not likely uh, to be earned uh, do not at all think that Dalvin Cook is about to count 8.6 million dollars against this New York Jets cap uh, the immediate thought when we come off any deal in East Rutherford right now is how does this affect Aaron Rodgers there's obviously BMAC another piece next to him as two former NFC North foes get together and try and do something here in the AFC Mac. How do you think this will affect the way that they run the offense and affect that running back room that already has some talent next to Aaron Rodgers? Uh, no question. They just added more talent in the backfield. And I think when you look at the Jets, the mentality for their team, they're trying to win the battle in the trenches. Defensively, they might have one of the deeper defensive line units in the National Football League. The concern on the offensive side was, has been the offensive line. That's right. And the best way to kind of, you know, clean up some of the, the woes from that unit, add talent behind them. And Dalvin Cook is one of the more talented running backs in the National Football League, surpassed 1,000 yards a year ago, made it to the Pro Bowl, a very, very explosive guy. Not to mention that some point in time you will get a healthy Brees Hall in the backfield as well so if you can just imagine that duo of backs behind Aaron Rodgers behind the pass catches that he has the luxury of throwing the football to will make this offense more deadly especially the offensive line just can find that form of consistency yeah what you what you have here with uh, the Jets is you have Brees Hall still coming off that injury and so he doesn't have to rush back yeah. he may not be 100% healthy may not be 100% ready to go there at the start of the season and if he even if he is you have a Pro Bowl running back in Dalvin Cook that you can frankly spell Brees Hall that you know and keep these guys both healthy both fresh because yeah. the Jets obviously have designs on playing deep into January and even into February. Yeah. Jonathan Jones Brian McFadden we appreciate you as always for stopping by on this latest news out of the NFL Dalvin Cook joining the New York Jets. Here's a look at some numbers out of it all used to be purple now paint it green Cook since 2019 one of the best backs in the league but the going rate on running backs getting squeezed and the going line is get out early rather than late. We'll see what Cook has left in the tank as he heads to East Rutherford.